Hi, I'm Miles Magnini, I'm a bassoonist, and I'm going to talk about flaking. The bassoon is a very unique instrument with several quirks, and the technique called flicking, or sometimes venting, is one of them. Something to always strive for is to have a consistent sound on all notes, in all registers, and in all dynamics. But as a bassoonist, you'll often find that there are specific notes in certain registers that simply misbehave. We have tools to help with these, such as muting for those particularly loud and uncharismatic notes, or half holes, quarter holes, and third holes for when the intonation has to be just right. You can learn a lot about these through individual exploration and trial and error, as the bassoon is a very personal instrument, and everyone's got their own style. But flicking is something that tends more to the nitty-gritty side of playing, so that's what I'll focus on. For demonstrations, I'll be using Berlioz's March to the Scaffold bassoon soli because it uses all the notes you need to flick, and it's something you'll almost certainly play for auditions or competitions. First, to show you why we flick, I'll play the excerpt with no flicking. <laughs> Now I'm sure you noticed all those cracked notes. This happens because of two combining factors. One, how short the note is, and two, how strong the articulation is. What a flick does is takes a bit of air pressure off the note so its beginning is more stable. I'll use the term rules lightly because this is the bassoon we're talking about, but here are the rules of flicking. A flick is appropriate when you give a strong articulation to the following notes. It can also be helpful to flick when slurring from an octave below to these notes. The way we typically mark flicks in our music is with the same symbol that string players use to denote harmonics, an empty circle. I'll go ahead and mark all the notes in this excerpt we will need to flick. The keys you press while flicking are under your left hand thumb. For A on top of the staff, this is the key to flick. For B flat, B natural, and C above the staff, this is the key to flick. Now to put it together is the real challenge. As with all things you ever practice, starting slow yields the quickest and most reliable results. After much practice, gradually increasing the tempo after each successful playthrough, the excerpt comes out like this. Venting is a similar technique used in similar situations for longer notes. While a long note can be successfully played with only a flick at the articulation, venting sustains the key press through the entire note to guarantee its stability. This can often come at the cost of tone, but when used in the right situations such as the extreme quiet or loud volumes, can keep your playing smooth and steady. <laughs> 